Grand Rising. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kings and queens, and those around the world. Top of the morning. Royal Generation Worldwide at gmail.com. 312-312-0293 Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturdays 11 a.m. is Bible study. 12.30 is worship, solid rock, gospel assembly incorporated. 112 06 Farmers Boulevard, St. Albans, New York. Sundays at 8 p.m. is Prophetic Encounter. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Breakthrough, deliverance, and healing. Thursdays at Prayer Meet at 8 p.m. November 2nd through the 4th is our third annual Holy Convocation. Official days that Saturday at 5 p.m. Be a be a Pacific Italian. Let's celebrate and worship the Lord. Amen. We honor and esteem all the apostles and prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists, and so much more. Amen. To Apostle Paul Smith, is our first presided prelate apostle. Amen. Dr. Penel Burns, our general mother, Pastor Lois Wilson, Apostle Aaron Sad. Amen. To Apostle Sharon Bishport. Amen. Every first and fifth Sundays, we have 438 Beach 40th Street, Murray's House of Praise. To get ready to go there later on. Amen. Let's just worship and praise the Lord. We destroy every powers of darkness. We destroy every principalities and powers in the name of Jesus. In the sanctuary of the Lord. Break every stronghold, everything that's not like God. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Imaginations be destroyed. Sickness, disease, infirmities be destroyed. Cur generational curses be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Poverty be destroyed. Some of you are imprisoned in your thought, your, your mind. You've been in prison. You've been battling with, the, with demons and devils and voices in your subconsciously. And God is, is healing you. As we speak right now, he's delivering you right now. Let his presence move in your homes. Wherever you are watching us from, let the supernatural power of the Lord move in your life right now. We worship and praise the Lord. We magnify, we glorify the name of the Lord. We release to you the Joel's anointing in the book of Acts chapter 2, verse 16, 17, 18, 19, and 21. That I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, that your sons and daughters shall prophesy. He doing, he's God himself is doing great miracles, signs, and wonders. And break through the deliverance amongst the people of the Lord. He is calling those, amen, higher in the presence of God. He's calling us higher in the presence of God. We worship, we praise the Lord. Come on, let's worship the Lord. Wherever you are in your homes, your kitchen, wherever you preside at, we, we worship God today. Happy Sunday, people of the Lord. It's a new day, a new season, a new beginning, a new start. The days of refreshing, the days of prosperity, healing, 
Whatever you need for God to do, this worship, this praise, and this lift them up. His presence is filling your homes. The ministry of God. God edify your king, your, 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 your saints. As you said it in the apostles and prophets, pastors and teachers, evangelists, edify your people, God. Mm. Whatever needs to be revealed, be revealed. We come against the false apostles and false prophets. False identity, false presence. We come against it now in the name of Jesus. We ask you, God, let your glory be revealed in our lives. Amen. We come against the crooks. We come against the molester, the rapists, the mugger, the bullets, the murderers. Amen. We come against the wolves and sheep clothing. A spirit of greediness, a spirit of self-exaltation, the spirit of pride, ego, hurt, pain, stress, whatever is in your heart, release it. Release it. We've been raised in single parent homes. We grew up in psychotic homes. We were some of us raised in foster care, adopted, raped, molested. By our own kin folks. We was going through a lot of situations in our lives that we don't tell people. We preach a good message, but we don't ask God to release what's ever in your heart. Church hurt. Amen. Bad relationship. Divorce. Married. From sleeping from house to house. From shelter to shelter. Some of you have been homeless. Eating out of garbage cans. Some of us... It may be going through a lot of pressure, depression, mental illness, schizophrenic, bipolar. And God is, is, wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to set you free. He wants to set you free. Amen. In the spirit of fear, uncomfortableness, not embrace. Spirit of rage, anger. He wants to heal you. God bless you, Prophet Jermaine Balance. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to set you free from the spirit of addiction, sexually addictions, drug addictions. Some of you have been going through arguments and confusion. Some of you are afraid of death. Some of you are afraid Amen. And God just wants to heal you. Some of you have been beaten. Amen. Abused. Amen. Verbally abused. You've been back and forth to prison. You've been back and forth to the correctional facility. You've been dealing with court cases. You've been dealing with child support, mortgages, Con Edison bills, different things. Children keep going back and forth. Gains and violence, and God is healing you as we speak to you. He's delivering you as we speak to you. God make you an original. You are joint heirs to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Speak, Lord. Wishcraft, wishcraft, spells, Menuminites. Beware of the snakes. Beware of the snakes in wolf clothing. Wise snakes. Mm. Some people don't have their best interests at heart. And be very careful on the covenants or the connection of people that you are in acquaintance with. With these strange spirits, these seducive spirits, these seducive spirits who come against that in the name of Jesus. Relig false religion, religion is one of them, tradition. 
pride, ego, gossiping, spreading discord, sabotages, blackmailers, traps. The enemy you come against that in the name of Shiva's greedy for money. The Bible the prophet man to gain the whole world but lose his soul. Mm, religious religion. Religious cults. And I break that spirit in the name of Shiva's. Every religious cult. We break it now. Every rope that's on your neck, every unsold ties, lust, sexually perversion, perversion. God is revealing some things to us as we speak. God is, is opening up the eyes of his people. Strange doctrine. Everything is coming to the limelight. Competition. Debates. Everything is coming to the limelight. Make sure all you're doing is to worship and praise the Lord. Mm. Are we doing this for God? All this thing they be doing. In the sanctuary of the Lord. Are we just doing this for me, myself, and I? self exaltation Are we doing this for God? This is all about the Lord. All this work that we're doing. The souls. The prayers. These services that we have. is all to glorify the Lord. Revivals. Convocations. All these things to glorify the Lord. If I was hungry, do you feed me? And I was clothed, do you clothe me? Enough of this fly begins a self exalted spirits. You ain't got nothing to prove to nobody for God. You ain't got to change up for nobody. You ain't got to pay for this. Your life. The things that you have been through, the storm, through the trials, through the tribulation, through the persecutions. Everything that you have gone through has paid the cost for your gift. Come out the flesh and come into the spirit. If we wrestle not against Ephesians 6, verse 10, 11, 12, to 13. 14. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We take on the full arm of God in the battlefield. We take on the full arm of God against every every demonic force, every principalities in high places. We destroy it now in the name of Jesus. We're living in perilous times in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. Men's up, men shall be lovers of their own selves, also high mighty. Lovers of money, more lovers of money the more than God. And things, everything is gonna come out to the limelight. Everything that we do, if it's not according to God. Is gonna come out. False accusers, whisperers, backbiters, hatefulness, jealousy is all gonna come out to the limelight. This is for everybody that's watching this broadcast. Make sure that your motive is right when it comes to God's people. Clean hands and a pure heart. Stay clear and let God use you. And let people speak well of you. Let all things be done in decency and in order. Enough of this playing games. Enough of this man-made stuff. Let's be real 
for God. Let's do things according to what God wants us to do it. Do y'all hear me here out there? All that service that we have in today is all to praise and worship God. The testimony, the prayers, the scriptures. It's all to praise the Lord. Why are we putting the time limit on God? We march, we processioning, marching more for, for ourselves than God. It's don't put a time limit on God. God is a jealous God. Put no other God before him. Like your mama, like your daddy, like your grandmother, like your bishop. Not your apostle is God and Him only. Stop pinning people before God. We honor and respect our spiritual leaders, but we don't worship Him as gods. God is a jealous God. Put no other God before Him. This work is all God. Put no other God before him. Put no other God before him. Idols, deities, money, positions, your children before God. That everything will come out to the limelight. In this season, God is about to set a great wind of glory. It's going to be a great revival going to hit America. And I come to get that spirit of death. I come to get that spirit of death that's trying to cover millions and thousands of people around this world. The Lord is getting tired of us, us playing games with His people. Jesus Christ is soon to come. Get your house in order. Get your house in order. And stop all playing games with God. And be for real. Be for real. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding. We speak, somebody said miracles, miracles, signs and wonders. Some of you right now are facing, your children are dealing with evictions. Some of you are dealing with conviction, evictions. When I mean eviction, I mean you live in a, 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 a place, amen, that you want to, you're dealing with a lot of um, eviction. You, you have enough money to pay your, your mortgage. The Lord is going to move in a miraculous way in your life. He's going to move in a supernatural way. Apostle said, the Lord sees your heart. He's going to move in your life. Keep praising, keep serving God. Don't let no one despise your new beginning. Some of you want church buildings. You want properties for your properties means it's buildings. Not just in one location for a different location. For your hair business, your barbershop business, your your school, your prophetic school, your apostolic school, your daycare. You want businesses for your hair salon. You want businesses to create things. God is going to give you the resources that you need to build your business. He's going to give you the grant money you need. He's going to give you the wealth and the prosperity you need. He's going to give you the, the connection you need to take your ministry to the next level. Amen. You will walk in total prosperity. You're walking in total healing. You're walking in total deliverance. Stephanie Williams. The Lord is going to bless you. Amen. With wealth prosperity and good health 
You got to keep speaking these things into existence. I speak that I get that house. I speak that I get that 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 job. Some of you are builders. Some of you are in music. You are multi-talented. And the Lord is going to bless you with that business you want. The Lord is going to increase you with that business you want. He's going to bless you to have that studio you want to record your songs, your sermons, your, 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 your rapper, your dancer. He's going to give you that property you want. He's going to give it to you. You're going to give it to your studio with the mixtapes. And the, and the thought, he's going to give that to you. He's going to open up that door for you. It's happening. You are walking in your new season. You're walking in prosperity. We give you glory for the prosperity. We give you glory for healing. Um, Stephanie Williams, can you send me a video request if you are able to? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout miracles. Signs and wonders. We got some couple of testimonies that came in. One man of God. God healed him off the life support machine. The Lord will heal them people of drugs, addictions. We get a testimonies. Amen. And testimonies. The Lord is moving in a supernatural way. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. You can text me on call me on my call me on my phone. I wanna pray with you on the live streaming. I wanna pray with you and talk to the Lord for you. Amen. You're praying for you praying for healing deliverance. For those that are watching the broadcast, you can tag and tag. We got a family and a friend. We are, we are praying for miracles, signs, and wonders. Breakthrough deliverance. And we still got time to chime on in. And then We're praying, we're praying, we're praying today. We're interceding today. We're in warfare today. Amen. In warfare and prayer today. Amen. We're praying today, people of the Lord. We're praying, we're praying. Come on in, people of the Lord. We pray and worship the Lord. We pick before all these services in your hands, God. For all these services in your hands. As you got the supernatural move. Move in a miraculous way. Your presence, your presence, your presence. And man, if you have any prayers, you can put it on this live streaming. 
We need prayer for healing. We need prayer for the lovers you can put on this live streaming. God bless you, Apostle Aaron Sab. God bless you. Chiming on in. God bless you, sir. Amen. Amen. Again, God bless everyone that's chiming this on this broadcast today. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We're still praying. We're praying. Waiting for some of you to come. Waiting for you to some of you to come on in. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're praying. We're praying for miracles, signs, and wonders. And breakthroughs and deliverance for the body of Christ. We destroy every powers of darkness. We destroy amen stress. We just create the peace and the presence of God to move in your life in the name of Jesus. We worship and praise the Lord. We glorify the Lord. We praise his name. Grand rising, everybody. Grand rising, grand rising, grand rising. How's everybody doing this morning? Hope you're getting ready for service today. Hope you come, hope you're coming to praise and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. We come to worship and praise the Lord. In the name of she let your presence be revealed. As everybody that's watching this broadcast, let your presence be revealed in their lives. Let your glory be revealed in their lives. Let your presence be revealed in their lives. We worship you. We praise you. We honor you. Keep these announcements in mind. November 2nd through the 4th. Yeah, our third annual Holy Convocation. It may we'll be at uh, 11206 Farmers Boulevard. St. Albans, New York. Amen. Amen. The, fifth, the fourth will be at 5 p.m. 11206 Farmers Boulevard. If you are in the five boroughs, come on out and support and fellowship with us. I would love to meet you in person, to meet you and greet you as our brothers and sisters and our co workers in the gospel. Amen. So I'm excited for what the Lord is getting ready to do. He's getting ready to continue the miraculously move in the supernatural way. He's getting ready to move. God is getting ready to supernaturally move. Amen. He's super ruling. He's in charge. God is in charge. We're all about the Lord. It's all about kingdom building. We're all about the Lord. And I'm going to keep saying it to you. It's your spirit. All about Jesus. It's all about lifting up the name of Jesus. And praising him and lifting him up. And let me give God the glory. We worship the Lord. We praise the Lord. And we give Him glory. More grace to you. Until we meet again. Thank you for tuning in to Royal Generation. Body Christ Believers International Incorporated. United States of America. This is your truly presiding bishop. And chief apostle. And Dr. Mark Robinson. Founder of first presiding prelate. Apostle Paul Smith. And our general mother, Dr. Pernod Burns. The cash shop is Dollar Sign Churches 0707 for those that want to give contributions or donations to the to the work of the kingdom. If you want to give donations also for our holy convocation, you can do it. It's whatever amount the Lord tells you to give. And maybe looking for those, we're looking for those who want to give $40, $60, $70. 
sixty dollars, fifty, or or, or higher above. Amen. We getting ready for our holy, the holy convocation. Amen. It's, amen. We got great singers, rappers, DJ, soul food, all about positivity and giving God the glory. November second through the fourth, that Thursday night is our uh, women's night. We'll be honoring our apostle, Amen, Dr. Penner Burns. And may God bless you, um, Pastor or Bishop Drew Apostle or Drew Sean. God bless you, sir. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for being in your an acquaintance. And I hope you come back. And man, as well, too. Please let us know where you're watching us from. More grace to you, man of God. More grace. Please let us know where you or watching us from let me know your first and last name your location and the name of your ministry and the days that you have services I'm looking to kingdom connect with some new people in this season Amen 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 so Amen I don't have no strings after November 4th, I'll be free to um, connect with new people. New school. Amen. And if you do not want to connect, that's on you. Amen. I'm not going to lose no sleep. Amen. But those that want to Kingdom Connect, you can Kingdom Connect. My number is on the Google, which is 312-312-0293. We're looking for new preachers. Amen. If you don't have an apostolic covering, and you need somebody to cover you. Amen. You can call the not 312-312-0293. If you're looking for affirmation, installation, good standard letters, and so much more, or besiders. Amen. We're here to assist you as much as we can. If you're looking for housing, we have people we connected to in this New York City. If you're looking for a job, and then we would connect you with people that have employments open. Amen. If you're looking for counseling, Mississippi, okay. If you're looking for counseling, we have counselors here. Amen. Amen. God is moving, and I'm going to let it be known on Facebook, I do not do platform services, okay, amen, amen, because I won't put nobody else here on the platform service, or anything, amen, anybody that comes to us, we treat them nice and good, Overseer we'll short dispense will be coming out, that's Saturday to, um, to, um, we break the bread of life. James Sanders Jr. posted to be there. I emailed him the information. Amen. But we're going to be seeing the name in person. Amen. I want to thank God for Superintendent, I mean, Bishop, I mean, Ronald Ferguson, uh, Senior. Also, that's Grace and Truth, Church of God in Christ. Um, Pastor Joyce Cooper will be preaching that Thursday at 7 30. Okay, amen. Also, Apostle Paul Smith will be preaching on Friday night. If you're not doing anything, come through. Don't make no promises to me. Amen. Don't make no promises to me. Just come. Amen. I, I, I'm not, I don't have time for the childish games. I don't have time for the foolishness. If you are able to come, you come. If you're not able to come, I understand. A lot of you have other responsibilities in your personal life. Some of you are parent, are, are single parents trying to raise your kids. It's, it's, a, it's a hassle. But I totally understand. Be praying for Apostle Dr. Thomas. His, his um, wife is dealing with um, key, um, lack of hope, the chemo. Be praying for his healing. Amen. This will be one year, September 3rd. Because my mother had passed away, but 
God is faithful and just to take me through that storm. Amen. Did this been through some warfare. And went through some triumphs, man. Amen. A lot of you don't are dealing with um, shelter to shelter. And you've been going through a lot of issues. God's is gonna give you an apartment and releasing your name. God's gonna give you that apartment in your name. So I don't want you to lose your mind. I want you to go forth. But God is moving in a supernatural way in your life. Don't let nobody take you down. Don't let nobody belittle you tell you tell you that you'll be absolutely nothing. Don't let people do that to you. Don't let people tell you what you're not. You are what God says you are. God said, I knew you would use your mother's womb. I knew every hair on your head. I knew every thought you think. I know every move you make. God know do you know what you're gonna be thinking the next day? Answer that question for me. You know what you're gonna to wear tomorrow? You can only think. I don't know what I'm gonna think tomorrow. I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. And I'm living today. Thomas saying everybody has to be this. Be yourselves. You ain't gotta copyright nobody else. You ain't gotta change your voice. You ain't gotta um, do all the other things that please people. A lot of so many things that we're doing as bishops and apostles are really uh, side shows or, or, or performing. Do it from your heart. Preach from your heart. Just be yourself. I know we're raising Church of God in Christ. I know we're raising the apostolic or or different things. But God wants you to be yourself. God bless you, Prince Anthony. God bless you, son. God wants you to be yourself. If you can be yourself, you go a long way. But when you're trying to be somebody else, you lost you lost it. People have been doing it for years. They're trying to they trying to bring what they raise it to the now. Mm -mm. Your clothes don't make you holy. Mm -mm. It's your life you live. Behind closed doors that people don't see. So I'm saying with everybody here that's watching this broadcast today, just be yourself. Just be you. I can't be like my bishop. God makes you an original. God makes you, God makes you uniquely, and you ain't got to copyright nobody. And make sure that you're not trying too hard, you're trying to do too much. When you're having all these holy convocations, these workers' meetings, all these revivals, Make sure that when you invite any different preachers to come out and preach or whatever, make sure it's God leading you to do that. Ask God for divine direction. I'm going to say it again to hit your mind. Ask the Lord for divine direction. To be quick to ordain people, be quick. Run to covenants. I've been there. I've done it. I established about 50 churches, and all Sunday people is only for its credentials or money. When they got their church established, they don't know you no more. Mm -hmm. So, all that we're doing is all for God, right? Are we doing this all for God? Are we just doing this just to have a service? Come on, y'all not hearing? Y'all not responding? All that we're doing is all for God. This is all for God. 
And then so let's keep these things in mind. And be careful on the households or the places that you are going to, the churches or the, the, the sanctuary that you're going to. Be careful. Be careful. People lay hands, you wouldn't clean hands. Amen. Come out of judgmental. Amen. Amen. Who cares? If you are in your living room, your dining room, your kitchen, your car, the streets, the park, preach the gospel of Christ. Give out tracts. Spread the love and the positivity of God. Don't let no one tell you that you're not legitimate. None of us are stepping out of our lane and out of our authority. I don't come up to somebody's service telling people what to do in their church. I don't come up and do these things. I'm a very wise man. I've been around for a minute. You may not like what some people do. Sweetie boy, honey pie, sweetie honey. Young people, preachers, just stay humble. Learn how to study to be quiet and let people talk. Hey Amen. You ain't got nothing to you ain't got nothing to fight about. And I know it hurts some of you been you've been taken advantage. You've been abused. And some things you may not like what's going on in the church. But God tell me to you is eat humble pie. Stay sweet, stay humble. And God will fix these things. Everything will be come back in table order. Everything will come back in table order. And they are hear me here, people. Do I get amen, somebody? Amen. And you gotta show people your true muscles. Stay quiet, stay humble. Love you all with the love of Christ. I see some more people coming on. I want to thank God for the Prince as my spiritual son. I want to thank God for him coming on the live today. I love your spirit, young man. I love your spirit. Amen. Humble man of God. Again, I thank you all for coming on the live today. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And to be meet again, peace and blessings. More blessings.